I'm going to show you how to make this dripping effect with CorelDRAW 2020. So without any further ado, let's go into the video. Hello you guys, my name is Dennis. Welcome and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn graphic design and how to make creative design, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you get notified when I upload another video like this one. So these are the resources I'll be working on on this tutorial. These are the pictures, the dripping effects and the splash effects I'll be using on this tutorial and i'm going to link up all these resources down the description so you can use it to make your own design and send it to me on instagram so i see how it looks like i'm going to go straight to corel draw and click on new document then this dialog box will pop up as you can see but on this tutorial i'm not making any specific kind of design that need a specific size so i'll just click ok while i do the remaining settings here and i'm going to click on rectangle to Press Ctrl on your keyboard while creating this shape to get a square shape like this. You can press P to centralize your design. Okay, that's perfect. And I'm going to copy out all the resources into my Corel Draw. Yeah, nice. Um, now I've already removed the background of these pictures. If you don't know how to remove background of pictures, I'll leave a link down in the description so you watch a video on how to remove a uh, picture's background and that will be perfect. I think this other picture is very big. Okay. Um, let me know down in the comments if you really know this guy and if you know him just type his name down in the comments. Let's see who wins this okay i'm going to reduce this picture remember i've always told you anytime you're working with pictures make sure your pictures are always inside the power clip that's just what i did here again okay i'm going to bring out the picture and power clip again so you understand what i'm actually doing okay now click on the picture right click and drag to the shape then you see these options you click on power clip inside but if you can't do that one i'm going to show you another method so i'm going to click ctrl z right click and you see power clip inside take it to the shape and click then the picture goes inside the shape automatically so that is just how i do power clip my pictures you can enlarge this a little and i think this looks perfect next up i'm going to bring in this dripping effect down here and click on trace you can click on quick trace to trace this bitmap so this is how it looks like so i'm going to click and drag so you see the bitmap still remains here so i'm going to delete the bitmap and leave it with this vector i'm going to click here to ungroup and pick the white not the black so i can delete the black off okay while i work with the white you can change this to any color you like to work with so i'm going to power clip this dripping effect inside the shape as well right click and drag bring it to the shape power clip inside open up the power clip by pressing ctrl on your keyboard then click open the power clip then you see how it looks you can reduce this and bring it to the picture like this then bringing it to the picture place it in such a way that it fits the picture so well okay just as what i'm doing just ensure that you enlarge it well now what you want to do is to make sure that the edges of this dripping effect covers the picture and we don't need a white space like this i'm going to take this upwards so i can get rid of that white space or better still i can reduce this here because this picture is actually short it's not all that long enough to cover the white space so i'm going to reduce my dripping effect so i can cover up everywhere and i think this is this is actually perfect so i'm going to press shift and select the picture then you see these options you click on trim to trim the picture so you can now delete off this shape you see how it looks like absolutely perfect so this is how dripping effect works with corel draw okay it's actually very simple you just have to be creative when doing this stuff so i'm going to close my power clip and bring in this uh, splash effect 
right click and drag power clip inside okay press control on your keyboard open your power clip if you can't do that way right click and click on edit power clip very simple control page down to send this to the back then you can now adjust this to fit that okay i believe this is very perfect and if you are enjoying this video leave a like on this video thank you very much so i'm going to close my power clip press ctrl and click outside to close the power clip you see how it looks now i want to get rid of this white here because actually this is a gray background so what i'm going to do now is to okay i have to copy out the background so i can get that exact picture this is what i'm going to do open up your power clip again click on this splash background you can copy it then close your power clip press ctrl and click outside here to close the power clip press ctrl v on your keyboard to paste then you can use your eye drop to color eye drop to click and pick this color then fill it on the shape and it fills the white space down here that is very perfect you can now click and right click here to take off the outline on the shape i'll delete this off so this is perfect let me write out this name here this is actually nice okay i think i should use a nice typeface on this okay okay that's perfect so this is for this and the next one i'm going to do is this so i'm going to delete this off okay and do the same process again power clip by picture inside reduce this again i think this is okay so this time i'm going to use this other uh dripping effect trace quick trace just as we did the first one you copy out this on group and we need the white not the black but this time you see it's actually the black that is perfect so i'm going to pick the black and delete this off what i'm going to do now is to create a shape like this and cover up this black you can give that shape a white color click on the black press shift and select white then click on trim delete the black off so you get this shape now we are going to use this shape to create the dripping effect take it to the picture reduce this a little power clip inside using the same process you right click and click on power clip inside then you click here and it goes inside the shape so i'm going to press ctrl on my keyboard and open up my shape again click on this and bring it here remember the same setting this time around as well so I'm going to enlarge this till it fits my picture so well. I feel this is perfect. Press shift and select the picture and click on trim. Perfect. Then delete this shape out. Now I want to make this picture in such a way that it looks perfect than this. I don't like this uh, part of the dripping effect because it's not really showing up the effect itself okay so what i'm going to do is to delete select this and delete okay select this and delete do the same here select and delete you can delete this as well to get rid of the whole stuff okay i think that's okay perfect i'm going to give this shape a yellow color and click and fill it with red and click on elliptical fountain view click on reverse view okay this looks cool but this time i'm going to change the name to penis joshua make it bold perfect centralize this i think i'm going to reduce this picture a little so this looks very cool and nice 
if you have any challenge based on this video you can let me know down in the comments so if there will be any need for me to review i will still make reviews so you understand very well but basically this is how to make the dripping effect with corel draw 2020 so i'm going to bring in this splash effect as well reduce trace quick trace okay then i pick the red okay ungroup this and pick red you can delete all this off power clip inside with the same process we have been using okay open up the power clip give it red okay rgb red okay then you can reduce this splash and place it around here again here you can reduce this one place this here and increase this again then select three of them and send it to the back so you see how it looks like behind you can select this again press alternate while selecting any object behind so you you will be able to select the object i'm using alternate to select those objects to adjust them okay so when selecting objects behind any element in your design press alternate to do that so you can easily select toggle around different selections till you get the particular object you want okay press ctrl and click outside to close this i think this is perfect so i'm going to select this and bring it here let's see how our final job looks like so this is the final look of the dripping effect tutorial thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to check out the link down in the description and download this dripping effect download the splash effect and the pictures then you make your own design and send it to me on instagram and don't forget to like comment and share this video to other designers who will find this video helpful thank you so much for watching this video i will see you next time